hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel Arky Nomad. and today's tutorial we are going to create levels with the help of dynamo from excel sheet data so basically the old method we use actually like we used to go to the elevation and then we just click here double l on your keyboard then we just create like this or drag it it's a very tedious task and it takes long time. Suppose if you have wanted to create a 50 floor, 100 floors, so that it will take long effort and time to create the such way, you know. So let's start with the Dynamo and let's do this very quickly and fast way. And also I'll be launching my own Revit architectural courses. So make sure that keep eye on the description. You will learn industry level experience through my courses. And just keep eye on the description in the upcoming days or the month. I'll be launching as soon as possible. So let's uh, start and jump into our Revit and let's create the levels. So what we're going to do is let me just delete this all the levels and just click OK. So now all the levels are gone. So basically we are going to create the floor plan and also the ceiling plan with the help of Dynamo. And also you can buy the script through the given link in the description and you can try it on yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so now we just have to go to our manage tab then you'll find the Dynamo here. I'm using the Revit 2222 version. You can use uh, the later version or whichever the version you have it works perfect with everybody so just go here and click on the dynamo and we are going to create the new project just click here new okay so now let me just drag a little bit of this window so the first node we are going to use actually the file path because I have created the Excel sheet, as you can see here, you can just create the Excel sheet, whichever you wanted and create the levels. And suppose like I created level one, level two, level three, and up to level eight. And I've given this in the feet and inches. You can actually give it into the millimeters or centimeter, whatever you wanted, but make sure that on your rabbit, uh, just make sure that on your Revit, it should be the unit should be on that only because it will going to uh, get confused with the Dynamo when we are going to run the script. So make sure that whatever the data you are giving here, it should be equivalent to that. So I'm using the feet and inches. So I've given the feet dimension, the height of the levels here. So uh, I'll show you how we can change it. So here as you can see it's three feet and fraction of inches. So let me just set it. And now just uh, go to the Excel sheet. Let me try to change this name or maybe let's create this one to the floor. And let me just copy through it. Or we can just simply go here and just drag it. That's it. So this uh, we got the floor, floor one, floor two, till full, floor eight. And this one we can also set like, let's give to, um, uh, give them this one to seven feet this one will be on uh, maybe um, let's give to 13 feet or 14 feet uh, this one will be on 16 and this one will be on uh, somewhere 21 uh, just according to you whichever the data you wanted to put accordingly and even if it is a random number you can just uh, give it and it will automatically update it in the rabbit so just go here and just give provide the number like let's give 25 Let's give this one to uh, 31 or maybe this one to 35 and this one will do 40. So these are like seven feet. The first floor is the seven feet and uh, this one will be uh, on uh, 14 feet. Accordingly, you can give and yeah, that's all. And uh, if you want to give a ground floor, you can create here on the ground floor and it will update in the sheet uh, on the Revit as well. So yeah, you can experiment with that. No issues. Now let's go back to our Revit and now um, let's open our Dynamo. So now be because we have the Excel sheet, so we need to actually uh, upload this, I mean the file, we need to give the file path so that Dynamo can read the file through that and the data, whatever the data we have given and it will convert that and give the output of it. So first node we are going to use called file path. Just uh, right click over here on the blank space or you can just find out here as well. I usually use this one. This method is quite fast and easy. So find 
the file path. So this one we're going to use. Okay. So now what we're going to do is actually we need to browse that file which we are actually we saved this actual sheet over there. And just go here in the browse and just select this one. So now we're going to use another node called file from path. So let's just go here, file from path and just put it here and just connect it to here. Okay, so now uh, I also need to use the code black. So that'll be very easy to see what's going on around and let's use the code block. And then let me just give this name to sheet one. Okay, and now let me use the watch node so that we can see what's going on. Okay, as you can see, it's showing whatever the output will be like that. And now just place it here nearby somewhere, no issues. Okay, so now we are going to use another node called data import actual because we need to import that actual data and we need to give the output accordingly. So basically now let's just left click, sorry, the right click. Now find uh, import I think this one, yeah, this one. So data import Excel. So just just go with this one to the file and this one to the sheet name. Okay, so now basically, even we are not using this one, it's okay because in the upcoming tutorial, I'll be just going to describe about the creating a sheet as well. So that's why this video will be in the continuation, but yeah, it'll be, it will be on the split two part. Okay. So now uh, if I go here and as you can see, it's showing on the list. So basically now, as you can see that the data is showing here on the downside, you can see here in the list form. So now we're going to use another two node. Actually, I would like to add basically so that it will actually going to separate the level name and it will, the next one will be going to separate the height. So I'm going to use a two code block and then I will add the index node for that, the list index node so that it will generate the two uh, code block from that. Okay, so just find it. First add a code block. Go here and copy and paste, duplicate because we're going to use a two. So this one, I, I wanted to use uh, uh, zero. Okay, let's call them zero. Okay, because I wanted to separate this, as you can see here, let me just zoom it. Oops, what happened? Okay, as you can see here, we can zoom in this one. This is a zero, so that means this zero is going to pop up and it will separate the floor name and the floor height in a two different way so that it will appear on the on the floor and on the i mean on the elevation so let's give, just give this one to zero okay so now we're going to add in the node called list get um item index so basically just you have to go here and find get item index yeah this one so just go here and duplicate this one control c and v because we're going to create a two in the two different different part. And now just uh, first we need to go here and just click here and change this to use levels. And of course for this one too. So now you will understand what is the meaning of L1 and L2 and L3 here. So basically we both need to use the L2 so that it will give the proper output accordingly. So now just go here and connect this one to index and this one to this index. And now this data, we are going to connect to the list. And of course here as well. And I'll just, uh, let's put this a little bit upside. So that will be organized way. Okay, so now the next node will be elevation and the name by the levels. So go here and find elevation. By elevation and name, this one we're going to use. So just go here and this item just connect to this one to the name because we are going to use 
the first the level name and we're going to give the height so this will be the height of that and now um, okay this one let's put to the manual so keep eye on this one on the left side on this uh, project browser you will find what's uh, going to be happen here so make sure to keep eye on it and then let's just uh, uh, add one uh, because we need to add create the floor view and the ceiling view the plans for that so th there will be two nodes i would like to use the first one will be the floor plan view by levels and then ceiling plan view oops sorry not this one ceiling by a level okay so now we're going to create add it here oops okay we are getting error because we forgot to add this one oops not this one this one with zero this one with the one okay now let's run okay as you can see that we created our floor plans and also the ceiling plan you go here on the elevation you'll find it's super quick and easy let me just change it to so that you can see so this is how you can actually use the dynamo and you can create the levels you can change the level in the excel sheet just go here and change it like suppose you want to add 10 like uh, sorry uh, 10 feet and just save it and then go back here and run the script you will just keep eye on here what happens see this is the power of dynamo there are endless opportunities while you are learning a dynamo so i hope you enjoyed and learned so many things um, about this tutorial about this uh, dynamo script so thank you so much for watching guys and uh, if you have any queries or questions just uh, you can send me an email you can just comment me down below and definitely i will reply you all so see you in the next video bye